Hello again, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back with another ish episode of the History Comic Books Podcast, this time on another edition of Royalty Regular Classics, since the holidays are over and we're back with a new year, and this time we'll be looking at The Other Side by Jason Aaron and uh, Cameron Stewart, which was a five-issue uh, miniseries released back in the December of 2006 to April 2007 through Image Publications, which tells a uh, real tr- uh, story about the uh, American uh, GI serving in Vietnam and also a uh, North Vietnamese uh, uh, private who both, as you watch them in their parallel stories, they both go through training, enter the war in Vietnam, and have a fateful meaning towards the end. And was a very powerful story showing how both sides are very similar and also very different, and what the effects it goes through to the soldiers that fight in these wars. Jason there does a great realistic take in it, showing both the good and the bad of both of both sides, and, and how uh, you know they go to basic training. He thinks he's um, the American soldier thinks he's doing it for, for the good of his country. Then he gets to Vietnam and see how um, bad things really are in some cases. At the same time, the Vietnamese soldier originally thinks he's doing it for the great of communism, but as he gets further closer to the actual war. Warfront, he finds out the Vietnamese people, they don't even like what he's doing and uh, wishes that he would just go home. And it's just a great contrast to how war is hell for everyone involved and why we should not fight it under the most extreme circumstances. And it's a great realist book in general, and Stewart's art is nicely gritty and realistic, definitely showing the horrors of war and what uh, these soldiers go through. And overall, yeah, one of the Jason Aaron, uh, of course, is one of the big writing superstars in comics now. And this was one of his early works that really showed what he was capable of. And now, now you now see him work, work uh, in current Marvel and DC books today. So yeah, if you're looking for a great realistic uh, book, uh, yeah, a little down from the holidays, but uh, definitely a classic read. Check out The Other Side by Jason Aaron and Cameron Stewart, because that is a true classic. My name is Mark McCray, and I'm the author of The Best Saturdays of Our Lives. I'm Dan Klink, co-host of The Best Saturdays of Our Lives podcast. The Best Saturdays of Our Lives features programming trends from the 1966 television season all the way through the last era of the early digital age of the 1990s. On the show, if it's animated, we talk about it. Order your signed copy today at tbsool.com. And listen to the podcast at esonetwork.com and all podcast platforms. Now it is January 5th, 2023, time for the favorite comic of the week. Dark Knights of Steel, number nine, by Tom, Tom Taylor and uh, Yasmin Putri, which uh, finds uh, the both kingdoms that all out war with each other, the House of El and the Amazons, uh, just are in full pitch battle, only for the uh, real culprit behind everything to finally be revealed in another brilliant pr- t- twist from uh, Taylor. As for, from the very beginning, Tom Taylor is coming kind of doing a very cool uh, DC meets Ca- uh, Game of Thrones uh, series with a nice mix of fantasy and medieval works. With the, what happens if all these DC characters were in the medieval times? It is a great way of mixing things in. Like there's a very cool scene where you see a bunch of archers, and the leader of the archers is of course a classic uh, DC character. You go, yeah, perfect fit right there. And also the big twist about who the culprit who's been uh, behind this though. The, forming this war from the beginning is really cool and also you should have seen it coming especially with the other twist about uh, another classic character who gets worked into this uh, story and all in all just a lot of fun especially when you match with Putri's art which is at this nice medieval flair to it, a great fantasy element and also showing off the great brutal, brutal action so all in all Dark Knights has still been probably the best limited series that come out uh, from last year and has uh, still got a few issues to go into this year now it's been a great read from beginning to end lots of fun and uh, Taylor is Tom Taylor is easily one of the best writers working today with all his work go, going so far. And he also writes easily the best DC ongoing series with Nightwing right now. So, yeah, great fun in general. So, you're looking for a good uh, limited series to check out, uh, especially with the, the new year. Uh, look no further than Dark Knights of Steel. And with that, of course, I have to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you're looking forward to this uh, 2023. All the great comic books and comic related material coming out uh, this year. I just uh, got copied on my uh, Ant Man for the upcoming end game. Looking forward to that. Looks to be a lot of fun. And with the uh, uh, Ant Man and the uh, Qu- Quantum Mania coming out uh, in ne- next month. And of course, we got the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and all the great TV shows and so forth. So, yeah, it looks to be a lot of fun in general. So uh, with that, 
uh, we will conclude for the uh, first classics episode of uh, this year, which I, by the way, I once again promise I will have some actual history episodes this year. I've def- I got four in the bank, a few more, co- uh, about to finish up a script again. If you, ideally, we'll definitely have some in maybe a month or two. We'll see. I'm not very good at keeping a schedule on that. But uh, all in all, I'll keep doing this uh, to I don't want to anymore. And until then, go and go enjoy yourself a good comic book. If you can, check out The Other Side, because that is a true classic.